Is this your first convention? Yes, it's my first convention. Are you excited? Very, very excited. What are you most excited about? I'm excited about Justin Trudeau's opening speech. It's so exciting. It's really like exciting to be in a big group of people. There's all kinds of people from like all ages, all walks of life, all places in the country. So it's just cool to be around so many different people. Ta message pour les jeunes qui nous regardent maintenant, qu'est-ce que tu as à dire? Euh, je dirais impliquez-vous, c'est le plus important. Puis euh, je pense qu'un des sujets qu'il faut parler de plus en plus, c'est les changements climatiques. Donc euh, informez-vous, éduquez-vous, puis engagez-vous. C'est le parti pour les changements climatiques. So we're here with Melanie. Melanie, tell me what you're seeing, what you're hearing, how are you feeling? I'm very excited to be here, and it was my first time meeting with the Indigenous Peoples Commission, so I really enjoyed that today, and it was wonderful to see the ministers there, and, um, and our Prime Minister even popped in, so that was quite exciting. What message do you have from folks from your area, your community, that are watching right now? Protection of Indigenous rights is the protection for the future of all of us. And when we protect land and water for Indigenous uses, then we know that we're going to have a future that's secure for all of our, our future generations. And, and that's really important to me. Wow, we're just really excited to be here and come together again. It's been a few years, we've done it virtually, so seeing people again and all these fine liberals that are out there, it is wonderful. I have to echo what Lisa said. It's been amazing to see fellow liberals. It's been incredible to get together after three years not being together. The PM was just through, the, through came by and said hi to everyone. The energy is up. I was upstairs at the volunteer hub, Team Trudeau. People are so excited and I'm just really thrilled to be here with the people that really make it happen. This is my first convention and I'm excited for the Young Liberals Pub Night, getting to meet a lot of people like like-minded. And then Hillary Clinton, honestly. Oui, des politiques en fait qu'on a à offrir. Les jeunes libéraux ont été reconnus dans le passé pour toujours faire avancer le parti. Euh, je pense au mariage entre conjoints de même sexe ou encore la légalisation du cannabis. Donc, c'est vraiment les politiques qui m'intéressent ici et évidemment rencontrer des membres du Parlement comme vous. Really looking forward to the speech with Minister Freeland and Hillary Clinton. I think it's going to be so amazing to see two powerful women on stage together. If you could say one thing that you're most excited about this weekend, what would you say? Probably reigniting the flame, um, especially in our area. Um, there are, we're rebuilding our um, young liberals as well as our liberal party in uh, the Bay of Quinte area. And uh, the one thing that we're most excited with is to connect with um, other parts of Canada and understand what's working and how do we bring out the vote and bring out the volunteers in our area. Is this your first convention? Actually, it's my third time being here. <laughs> Another veteran. Okay, good, good. This is good. So tell us why it's important for young people to be at the convention today, even the ones that are watching li us live right now. Um, so I think it's important that young people just generally get involved in politics. Um, we are the future of this country, so it's better to get now involved now than it is to, later down into the road and uh, speak up about things that we're passionate about, whether that's women's rights or the climate change or the economy and whatnot. So. And so, since it's your third time, what do you feel like the energy is like right now versus all the other times that you've been at the convention? I think it's definitely immaculate. Um, we're meeting each other after like who knows how long because of pandemic. So the energy I think is electrifying. And so it's so great to meet a lot of my friends that I haven't seen over the last two years. And it's been great to connect with everybody. So what are you looking to see the most tonight or in the entire convention? I'm really excited for the keynote speakers, uh, especially our Prime Minister. I'm super excited to attend that and then all the after parties that are going to be super fun to attend. After well. parties! After parties, yeah. <laughs> if you were to send a message home where you're from, actually where are you from? Milton. Milton. Yeah. So if you were to send a message to the viewers from Milton right now that are watching us, what would you think? Um, definitely come to the next convention if you can because it's an amazing opportunity to just network with people and obviously meet a bunch of cool people like Ariel obviously and I think it's just a great opportunity to learn more about the current policies that we're engaging with and that are affecting all of us today.